I've got 270 videos on my channel. I've got a series on breeding African cichlids that got this whole thing started. Two series on discus, a series on breeding angelfish. Fish Keeping 101, I did Comment of the Week, KG Q&A, and of course, Tank Talk. I feel like there's nothing left. What haven't I done? What can I do to kind of mix things up a bit? Should I do another breeding series? No. I'll get too many people asking me about breeding convicts. Should I do a tour of my local fish store? Well, all those are closed down, so that's not really going to work. Should I answer more questions and make fun of silly comments? Well, that's fun, but I really want to do something I've never done before. Wait. I think I've got it. I'm going to start a saltwater tank. Have you joined the new Tank Talk Facebook group yet? If you haven't, what are you waiting for? The link is at the top of the description. Go check it out. We're having all kinds of fun in there. Hey folks, it's John with CageTropicals.com. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. It's been fantastic for us so far. We've had a ton of stuff going on, and that's kind of why I wanted to do this video today. Just a casual update video for you. We can talk about the things that have been going on and the things that are going to be happening in the very near future. Of course, one of those things has to do with what we talked about in the very beginning of the video. But the first thing I want to do is kind of explain what's been happening over the last few weeks. Of course, some of it has to do with the holidays holding us back from doing videos, but there is one more big thing. And in order to really talk about that, I'm going to have to let you in on a big secret about me. I'm not hiding it from anybody, but it's something that you probably don't know about me. That's right, we got to talk about that real quick. Yes, I am a vapor. I was a smoker and a tobacco user for 22 years, and this is finally the thing that has gotten me away from that. This isn't a video about me being a vapor. The reason why I'm talking to you about that is because I've actually gotten a new job, and it has to do with vaping. All oh, this fog, can't even see me in the camera anymore. <laughs> so it has to do with that. If you want to hear a little bit more about that, then stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll kind of fill you in on what's going on with that. But I've taken a new job. It's a part-time job, and it has to do with vaping. So that's why I thought I would share that with you. It's not something that's a big secret, but there's tons of vapors out there. I know they're out there. I belong to a whole bunch of different groups and stuff like that, and I've actually commented on vaping YouTube videos, and people have commented back to me like, hey, John, I can't believe I'm seeing you in here. It's, it's kind of funny. So thought I would share that with you and let you know that that has to do with why I haven't been doing videos the last couple of weeks because for one, the holidays, and for two, I took this new job that has me running all over the place. But things are very much settled down now. Things are in order again, and I can get back on track as far as creating content for you for our website and YouTube channel. So that's, that's the big thing that I wanted to talk about today as far as what has been holding me back from doing videos. Again, it's not the case anymore. Everything's settled, we're all good, and you're gonna start seeing more videos from me every single week. So we need to talk about that. We need to talk about what that video series is gonna be, the next big thing for KG Tropicals. But again, if you wanna hear more about what I'm doing as far as vaping goes, check out the end of this video and I'll fill you in on that. So I guess now you know, if you ever see any fog rising or falling throughout my videos, you know where that came from. So let's talk real quick about someone that I met while I was in Chicago. Now, I know there's some of you that are wondering, you know, John, geez, you did this huge campaign to get to Chicago, and now we don't see any videos from it. There's, there's nothing from Chicago. What a waste. Well, it wasn't a waste. I made a couple of huge connections while I was out there, and those are going to be big things for this YouTube channel for KG Tropicals. And one of them has to do with the saltwater tank. So let me tell you the story. I ran into a sales rep from Fluval while I was there, and I'm not going to give his name because then everybody would be emailing him and, hey, hey, send me this. So we got to talking. We actually became good friends while I was there. We hung out throughout the entire weekend, and I was talking with him about wanting to mix things up. I, I want to do something different on my channel, and we were 
kind of bouncing ideas back and forth. He knew who I was because of the FX6 videos that I did back in the day. So we were kind of brainstorming a little bit. And one of the things that I said to him was, in almost 25 years of keeping fish, I have never had a saltwater tank. I've never even fed a saltwater fish. I know, it's ridiculous, right? I mean, you would think somebody that's been keeping fish as long as I have, I would have had a saltwater tank at some point, but I have not. I don't even know a thing about keeping a saltwater tank. And I explained all of this to him, and he said, John, I've got just the thing. I've got the perfect thing for you for a scenario like this. And so we got to talking about what's coming up in future videos. Something that he sent to me last week. I actually got it the day before Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve? Eve? The 23rd? So it came on a pallet. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to show you the pallet of stuff that got sent to me from Fluval. Um, this huge system. And so let's get into what that is. And then I'm going to talk about what we're going to do moving forward as far as this series goes. So what Fluval sent me is a complete setup for a saltwater tank. It is their M series of tanks, their complete setups. It's like a saltwater tank or reef tank in a box. Everything you need to get started. And this is why my sales rep friend from Fluval said that this is perfect because you've never done it before. You're going to have everything all in one package to get you started with salt water. So it's an M60, which is the 24 gallon version that he sent me. Again, this is perfect. I mean, I'm not going to be setting up a 150 gallon salt water tank, although I have been told that salt water tanks, just like freshwater tanks, the bigger you go, the easier they are to keep. You can let me know if that's true or not because, hey, newsflash, I don't know anything about salt water, but he said this is the perfect deal because everything you need is all in one setup. So what I'm going to do is in the next video, I'm going to kind of go through the contents of that package. We'll break down that pallet and I'll show you the contents of every single box that was sent to me, everything that was included in this package. And we'll talk about getting the whole thing set up and getting the stand built and, and all that kind of stuff. And we'll get started with this. But there's something really important about this project that I, I really need you to pay attention to right now. I need your absolute focus on this, okay? I'm gonna say it again. I have never had a saltwater tank. I don't know the first thing about keeping a saltwater tank. Literally, I'm ignorant when it comes to this stuff. So I'm gonna ask you for your help. Now, with this series, of videos, I could have done a lot of different things. I could have made believe like I was some kind of expert in saltwater tanks and just set this thing up and said, hey, look, guess what? I'm an expert on salt now. No, that, that would just look way too fake. I would look like a poser. So what else could I do? I mean, I could bring in other YouTubers. That has been proven to be rather difficult because, hey, we're all working stiffs. We're all out trying to hustle to make a living, and it's really difficult to line up schedules and everything like that. I have talked to a few saltwater YouTubers, some of the big names in the saltwater community, and they have agreed to help me with this series. However, again, schedules, it's hard. It's really difficult to do. So instead, what I've chosen to do is wing it. I know that might sound crazy. I'm, I know it might sound like foolish. I'm going to make mistakes and I'm going to kill a bunch of fish. Well, I don't plan on doing that. And here's why. Because I'm going to solicit your help with this series. This is what I want to do. I want you to guide me on how to get this thing going. I'm not saying connect board A to board B when it comes to putting together the stand. I'm not talking about that. What I'm saying is I would like for us to come together and get this tank set up together. With your guidance, I can do it. Now, how are you going to help me with this? Put your comments in the comment section of this video and future saltwater videos. Go on to our Facebook group. If you haven't joined yet, it's the Tank Talk Facebook group. It's at the very top of the description in this video. Go into that group. Join. I'll accept you right away, unless you ask to join in the middle of the night. But I will accept you right away into the group, and you can put your comments up in there. Things that you believe I need to know in order to successfully start up this first saltwater tank. This is how we're going to do it, folks. I think that this is going to be a lot of fun because not only am I going to be experiencing this from the, for the first time, but I'm also 
going to be learning it from you. And that, that's something that's really exciting. I've spent 270 videos trying to share my knowledge with you on how to set up a freshwater tank or breed fish or do whatever. Now it's your opportunity to share your experiences with me. I think this is something very different and I think it's going to be a blast. I can't wait to get started. So start putting the comments now in the comment section. Little tidbits, you know, hey John, here's a tip, blah, blah, blah. Put it in there, things that you think I need to know when it comes to keeping a saltwater tank. And again, join the Facebook group, Tank Talk Facebook group, go on there, put whatever you want. I read everything. Last few weeks, because I've been working three jobs, I haven't been able to be all that active on there, but I do read everything. So put something on there, I will see it, and I will absolutely, I don't know if I'll respond, but I'll try to respond to everyone, even if it's just a, hey, thank you, you know. But let's do this together. I think it's gonna be a blast. So like I said earlier in the next video, I've actually already taken the, the pallet apart and I've already brought everything down. It's, it's sitting right there on the floor. So I'm gonna start going through the contents of these boxes, going through what is included in this package, or at least what was included in the package sent to me, and start to kind of organize things and, and get things going and, and probably build the stand. So that's gonna be in the next video. I can't wait. This stuff has been sitting right next to me here in my fish room, in my basement, for the last four days, and I haven't touched it. You know how hard that is? I mean, I've got this sitting here and I can't do anything with it, and it's because I wanted to open the boxes with you on the video. So be subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss out on that, so that you can go through this with me. And hey, if you've never kept a saltwater tank, this might be your opportunity to learn right along with me. And if you're a saltwater keeper already, you've got some experience. I don't care if you've only had saltwater tanks for a couple of weeks. If you can add to the conversation, please do. I think this is going to be something that will be a lot of fun. So subscribe, make sure you are, so that when the next video comes out where I go through the contents of this package for this Fluval M60 reef setup, you will see what all comes in the package. It might be something that you want to get. So that's going to be it. Now let's, uh, let's go ahead and move on. And for all my vapor friends out there, and I know you're out there, let's talk a little bit about what I got going on there. So more than likely, if you've stuck around this long, it's because you're a vapor and you wanted to know what's going on with me as far as my new vaping job. You're probably automatically going to assume that I'm working part-time at a vape shop. No, that's not it. No, it's more my style. This is actually something that I did kind of on my own. I, I, I'm not some kind of pioneer. There's other people out there doing what I'm doing, but it's something that I set up on my own. I'm not working for anybody else. I'm working for myself. What I decided to do back uh, about, well, it's about a month ago now, I saw an ad on Facebook for one of the juice companies that I frequent. I use their juice all the time. Uh, it's a company called VapoX out of King George, Virginia. Go figure. They make the juice that I vape on all day long. I saw an ad on their Facebook page that they were looking for a sales rep. They said, message us back if you're interested. So I did, and I didn't get an answer. But the thing is, I didn't realize that when I saw that the post was put up in November, it was put up in November of 2014. So that's why they didn't answer me. But it got the, the, the cranks in my head running like, hey, wait a minute. My other job, I'm on the road all the time going around this whole area, the entire mid-Atlantic region really, uh, fixing furniture for people. While I'm out on the road, I could be a, an e-liquid salesperson. I could go into these shops and talk to these shops about maybe picking up these different lines that are f people that I know that are creating their own juices. So that's what I did. I reached out to a few local juice makers in my area uh, they're actually in King George and in Fredericksburg, which is like the next town over. These are great juices that I use regularly. If you're a vapor, you probably use locally mixed juices too. I reached out to these guys and I said, hey, I want to sell your juice. I want to put your juice in stores all throughout the Mid-Atlantic region. What do you think? And four of them were very much responsive to the idea. One, in fact, was the one that I saw that ad for on Facebook. They, I did end up getting a hold of them, and I am officially a sales rep for them. I just thought I'd show you one of their bottles here. Um, so 
four different lines that I'm carrying. And what I'm doing is I'm going around to vape shops. I'm going in, uh, you know, kind of like a door-to-door -door salesman. I walk in with samples and I allow, I don't know, allow, but I have the reps in the store. What hopefully they're the owners or they might be the manager in the store. They do taste testings and I try to sell them these different lines of juices. And I have already gotten accounts in the very short time that I've been doing this. So really excited about that. I'm excited about the idea of making more money, but also it makes me feel good to be able to take a local company and help them grow. I mean, I'm doing my small part. These guys are mixing, they're, they're doing all this stuff. They don't have time to run all over the place and go to these shops and, and sell the juice. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going out there and, and I'm helping their businesses grow. I'm also growing a business. Everybody wins. It's beautiful. And they give me free juice as part of the deal. So yay, everything works out really good. So that's what I've been doing the last month. It's It's been an adjustment, of course, adding something on to what I've already been doing and, you know, had to get all that straight. And then you add to that the fact that there's the holidays and everything else. It's just been crazy. So that's why you haven't seen a whole lot from me. Now, people are going to ask, and I know you are. So for my vapor friends, I'm going to going to help you out here a little bit because I know people are going to ask and you know we all we're vapors we like talking about our stuff so we're talking about the uh Rilo rx 200 here uh the triple 18 650 which i really love this is a great mod i just got it you know maybe someday i'll tell the story of how i got it uh it was it was very cool i got it for free but anyway I, nobody gave it to me for any specific reason. I made a deal with a guy anyway. And on top of that is the Aroma Miser RDTA, absolutely the best tank in the world. I am always moving around, so I like tanks. I do have drippers, but I like tanks. And that thing is about as close to a dripper as you're going to get with a tank attached to it. So it's a beautiful thing. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to be excited if I get a response to this because it's going to mean that you have actually watch the entire video. I've entertained the idea of starting a vaping channel. What would you think about that? Are there anybody, is there any subscribers of mine that would come over to something like that? I've thought about doing it for a lot of reasons. One, because I'm working in that industry now and I could talk about the products that I am a sales rep for, but also I think vaping is huge. I think it's taking over the world. I think it's something that is going to put big tobacco out of business. And I would love to be able to spread the word about this thing that has changed my life. I'd love to have an outlet to talk about that. I would not do it on the KG Tropicals channel because there'd be too many people that would hate me for that. I would start something completely different. I've put a lot of thought into this, folks, and it might be something that I might pull the trigger on, but I'd love to hear your response and what you think of whether or not I should do that. I even have a name for the channel, and it's a really cool name, but I'm not going to share it until I make the decision of whether I'm going to do that or not. Let's face it, I've got KG Tropicals, I've got my furniture repair job, I've got my sales rep job now, and I've got five kids. I, Really? I mean, you know, adding another channel is kind of a crazy thought. I don't know how consistent I would be on it, but, you know, it's something that I might do. If you would watch that, let me know. Please let me know in the comment section of this video or send me a message, email me, whatever you want to do. Let me know that you would watch that because the response that I get on that may determine whether or not I actually do this. So, but I think it would be a lot of fun and, you know, might be something that I go with down the road. So anyway, if you have no interest at all in vaping and you have stuck around for this, thank you. That means a lot that you've stuck around to listen to me talk about something that has nothing to do with fish. That's that's very special. Thank you very much. And if you are a vapor, let me know what you think about the idea of me starting up a YouTube channel. We can have some fun with it. I think it'd be a good time. So there we go, folks. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep rambling. I like this though. I kind of like the just talk about whatever I want to talk about. It's kind of fun. Kind of reminds me of the podcast. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are upset that I have not been putting up the podcast. I don't. I don't know what you want me to say. I mean, it's just it's too much at this point. And uh, and it was really difficult. Thought about taking on a partner for the podcast, but I, I don't know. Hopefully, it's going to be something that I can get sparked up again down the road, maybe in 2016. We'll see. So thank you so much 
for letting me do this, letting me ramble like I have. It's been a lot of fun. Vapors, let me know what you think. If you're not a vapor, okay, listen to me, folks. If you stuck around and you're not a vapor and you're a smoker or a tobacco user, you need to email me, kgtropicals at gmail.com. Let me talk to you about this. I'm not going to sell you anything. I'm not going to make any money off of you. It's not about that. It's about changing lives. This has changed mine. You don't have to be a smoker. I was a tobacco chewer. I ruined all my teeth. I mean, I was a tobacco chewer, and this is what got me off of it. So we'll talk about it, all right? I want to get more vapors out there. We need to go strong because the government's starting to get involved now, so we need to make sure we get as many people vaping as possible. So that's it. I'm not going to talk anymore. Don't forget, next week's video, I'm going to be opening up these boxes. I'm actually going to do it right now which I'm excited yeah. about because it's been hard not to open these. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about a vaping channel. And thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to talking to you again next week. This is going to be fun.